things have been missed. She fell flat on my face. It was pure embarrassing. Physics have been broken. What the fuck am I there? The laws of time and space shattered in an instant. Yes, this is entertainment, but the glitches are real. Whoever you are, whatever you do, please don't put this at home. Hello, everyone. Welcome back. We're doing a bit more fire promoter today. We've got another special guest joining us to be guest booker today. Please welcome young upcoming American independent wrestler Josh Fuller. Hello, I am young upcoming and American. And independent. And independent. Can't forget that one. Yeah, I'm a, a book in a day. I'm a beat Jody and Josh the wrestler. I think I said that backwards. But they're both wrestlers. Oh shoot, I hear the music. Yeah, I've just brought it up in uh, the Discord for you. Uh, Alright. So yeah, we've got... Alright. So this is... I mean, our Crack roster's a bit stripped down from what it was because we restarted the save uh, because of the parts craft stuff, allowing us to have like better versions of a lot of the wrestlers. Gotcha. And I uh, didn't want to have so many like needless doubles in the game. So, okay, so when I played, like, a few months ago, I know, I don't know if I was just really dumb at playing the game, but there was a thing where, like, we could only invite somebody to be a part of the roster or something, like, once a, a, a show. Do you already have, like, a giant roster? Uh, we've or is got, it, like... We've got a decent-sized roster, but I've also got a mod in place where uh, that no limits like that are in effect. Ooh. So, like... I didn't know that existed. But the thing that you're thinking of is you can only like try to sign one person a month, whereas gotcha. in inviting you can invite as many people as you want anyway. Okay. So we already tried some of yours. Hornswoggle knocked us back. He did. He gave us the old KV. So did uh, Trevor Babcock. If you're watching. No, we, we not, managed but... to get him. Wait, we have Trevor Babcock. Yep. Okay. I need to find okay, where Carlito is. Yeah, Carlito was a recommendation from a friend. One second. I'm just gonna look. Is that Adam? I'm trying to study everybody. Right. I'm just try to suss where he is where he is in the free agents bit. Because sometimes when a wrestler is from somewhere that technically isn't part of any of the regions, it just throws them somewhere randomly. Ah. Uh. But I am not seeing him at all, which is weird. We don't need we don't need Carlito. Like, I, I, I'm flexible. I can, I can make this work regardless. And I understand that you know, like he spits in people's faces if they don't want to be cool. And is that someone we really want on our show? I mean, but also we don't want to not be cool. That. This is. I don't know about you, Adam. I, I feel like a pretty cool guy. Uh, I mean, I, I'm hit or miss. <laughs> uh, I respect that. I, I feel that. It's going to annoy me though, because I know I have got him unlocked. <laughs> I just don't know where the hell he's ended up. Uh, let's see. Well, let's have a look at our roster. So, we have... This is our roster that isn't affiliated with a uh, stable. Gotcha. So, we have Brent Carter, a good friend of mine who... Uh, and it's an unfortunate tale. He hasn't actually debuted yet. He's, ah. he's still a trainee. He was supposed to debut uh, next month, and obviously that's... Or this month, for bigger pardon, and that's kind of up in the wind now. But you know what? He'll be booked tonight. 
Um, I'll look out for the guy. We have uh, Debbie Keitel, uh, Irish star, uh, getting booked all over Europe right now. Uh, I've heard of her. She's very cool, very talented woman. We have Gene Money, English wrestler, mostly known for comedy, but can damn well go in the ring as well. Gotcha. We have Jayla Dark, recently retired IRL, uh, but worked all throughout the UK and for also Ice Ribbon in Japan. All right. Uh, very hard. I think I'm gonna. I think I'll respect her wishes and uh, not use her just because she's retired. I don't want to book her against her will. <laughs> we, have a, we have a tag team here. Krieger Scud, and Luke. Scudmaster Sexy? Was that the. Scudmaster Sexy, yeah. <laughs> What does Scudmaster mean? Well, scudding someone in Scotland is like hitting someone really hard. Ah, but he makes it sexy. Yeah. So they're right. him and Luke King Sharp are a tag team. Okay. Uh, they're actually the current ICW tag team champions. Gotcha. Uh, we have Lily Fay, a Dutch wrestler based out of New Zealand. Just a cool look. Uh, we have Manlin. Uh, good pal of mine, uh, local Glasgow wrestler, likes a good brawl. Who doesn't? Uh, we have Piper Niven, or Viper if you prefer. Uh, probably gotcha. the, one of the biggest names we have on our roster. She kind of looks like the Black Canary there. A little bit, yeah, I can see that. Mm. Uh, we have Rusev, who we signed just because. And who is he? Rusev. I know. <laughs> I was. I thought maybe he's missed it or something. <laughs> uh, with Sarah Marie Taylor, uh, veteran of the Scottish scene, uh, very uh, one of those wrestlers that were less about big flashy moves and mo it, that's kind of hard to recreate in Fire Pro, where it's less about big flashy moves or whatever, and more about things like you know, like body language and facial expressions and stuff. Yeah, psychology. Yeah, but, I get you, I get you. But, uh, like, she was a guest booker we had, and she's a very lovely woman, so she's in. Oh, okay. We have you. Whoa, my hair, I look different Yeah, uh, I've seen that uh, character uh, look before. I, I, I tried to, like, like update the look a little bit. <laughs> ah, I like it, I like it. And we have your boy Trevor Badcock. <laughs> the Badcock. As soon as she moves the, the spinning motherfuck, maybe we'll see that tonight. Are we allowed to curse? I, I can bleep that word. I can change the word. Oh, no, no, no. We're allowed to curse. It's fine. Okay. Okay. Uh, we have our stables. The we're, face paint perverts. Yeah. So this is the remnants of a big stable we had in the previous one. Where the rem when it, what happened? I, well, when I restarted the save, I basically, apart from Rusev, I only brought in people who we've had on the screen before. Ah. Uh. So, or like the Joe Kennell characters. Gotcha. Uh, so originally, the face paint perverts was Rosemary, NL Slip, Warhorse, Danhausen, and uh, Jokey, who's an Italian wrestler based in Scotland. Right. Uh, we have the Toast perverts. Oh man, a lot of perverts here. Uh, which well, is... what, 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 what's the meaning behind the Toast perverts? Okay, so uh, about a month ago, we did a charity stream, and we had. Like a few special guests on it, including this man here, uh, Johnny Blood, who some mm -hmm. viewers will know from the new Legacy Inc. videos and stuff. Yeah, and, I'm familiar with Johnny Blood. And also we had Amy Alonzi here, who's an uh, aforementioned young, talented Irish wrestler. And they got, gotcha. an, they got into an argument about toaster ovens that, honest to God, must have went on for about 45 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> really? Yeah. What was the uh, argument? Uh, well, basically, Amy had never heard of a toaster oven. Oh. Uh, like, I'm guessing, like, they call them something different in Ireland. Hmm. And, like, but, like, a lot of it was Johnny trying to explain to her what a toaster oven is. And, yeah, uh, oh, that, that was a good laugh. Also, she tried to defend the overdrive to him. That's a good move. Oh, don't tell Johnny that. And we have em <laughs> we have Emily Hayden here, who also heavily involved with toasters. Uh, okay. We have the Wakanda Dynasty, which right. is Sugar Dunkerton, who 
and you know, pretty recognisable name. Yeah, and a, and a good dude to boot. Really nice guy. He is, yes. Uh, we have Aisha Raymond, who some people might remember from the May Young Classic. Yeah, I was about to say she looks really familiar. Yeah. And we have Jamal Mali, who is the Wakanda. Like name. Where he's the Wakanda Dynasty's token white guy. Okay. Uh, by Shug and Aisha's request, by the way, because they both know him. <laughs> All right. Like he's a Scottish guy. Uh, like Aisha lives in Scotland now and actually used to like be Jan's roommate. Ah. And like Shug, Shug from the time he spent in the UK, like got pretty friendly with him as well. And we have our newest stable, the Clout Chasers. Oh. Which is Joshua Wells, Jody Summers, and Andrew. Okay. Everett. Well, I, I want to say really quickly. Originally, I was going to book uh, Joshua Wells and Andrew Everett against me and Jody, but apparently, Jody's allegiance is with them, so I'm going to have to rethink all of that. Ah. So that's our current roster. Okay. A good bunch of people, I think. Gotcha. And, and well, is is there any names offhand that you can think of that you'd like to invite? Um, I'd like Effie. Effie's a good guy. Effie's in. All right. Let's see. Hey, T. Gray. Hey, hey. Uh, first at Hooligan. Hey, Jim. Hey, Chainsaw. Chat's filling up a wee bit. Uh, um, so we got Effie. I think I want Chris Hero. I'll figure something to do with him. Yeah. It's a, it's a good hand to have. He's not uh -oh. Like, because uh, I think if you're putting on a wrestling show and you can't find something to do with Chris Hero, then you know you're not doing it properly. Yeah. Um, we'll go down a little bit. Let's see. Um, nobody's really sticking out. Loki, Loki would be cool. Ooh. Oh my god! I've been watching a lot of TNA lately. Uh, um, ah, man. Uh, go up a little bit. I'm feeling. I'm feeling Scott Hall. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with him. Ah. Nobody wants us. All right, let's book like an indie guy. Someone right. in. What about? I saw Faye Jackson. Let's book Faye Jackson. Oh yeah, Faye Jackson's awesome. Yeah, she's she's a lovely person. And oh my god, me. never mind. I take it back. <laughs> <laughs> um, Mike Bailey. I love Mike Bailey. He's a good dude. Yeah. And doesn't want. What the fuck? Nobody wants to work with us. Does this always happen? Uh, it's hit and miss. On the previous save, there was a weird thing where, like, obviously, obviously, a lot of people try to book people you know they know or that they've worked mm -hmm. with, and for some reason, a lot of the Irish girls would always knock us back. <laughs> uh, uh, Alley Cat. Oh, Alley Cat would be cool. I like Alley Cat. I don't get why they're saying they don't agree with our working style because our working style is showman, which, you know. So let's find some showman. Okay, okay. Right. okay. But Alley Cat and Faye Jackson are under showman. Yeah, they probably just had other bookings. They're they're heavily scouted. No, that's that's a fair um, point. Uh, CM Punk. Yeah. CM Punk is in. So we can get CM Punk to come back, but we can't book indie people. It was the same on That's... the last save as well. We managed to get like CM Punk and The Rock and like madness. All right, this one is a little uncon. Or I mean, I, okay, I'm just gonna say it. I want Brian Christopher because I've been watching some old TNA and I liked his run. I, I liked his the Brian Lawler run. So let's. Okay, never mind. That was like too you much era, uh, Brian Christopher. By the way. What'd you say? <laughs> that was too much era, Brian Christopher. Uh, oh, wait, is there other regions? Yeah, yeah so we've got like Japan, oh, okay. Latin America, and Europe as well. For some reason, okay, Leah Owens let's is in Japan. Japan. Let's go to Japan. Um, uh, let's book Kenta Kobashi. I like it. And he said yes before, so... That's a good sign. 
He's in. Let's go. All right. No. Um, Masawa. Book Masawa. And he's said yes before as well. We booked. All right. Because our tag champs for ages in the last save was Shug and Aisha. So we booked mm. Misawa and Kabashi against them. Ooh. It's a good tag team. Uh, okay, go back to Europe. Okay. Ooh. So there's uh, like a lot of the, like, there's like a few, of, you know, like the NXT UK people here and. Yeah. Uh, mostly people I want, I've made. <laughs> I want Danny Luna because. Uh, we were internet friends before either of us started wrestling. Okay, cool. And she's in, which is cool, because yeah. the last save, she always knocked us back. Oh, well... So it's because um, it's your booking, and your friends. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Go down. Not many people are standing out, you know, for my, my vision right now. Uh, like, uh, as I said, a lot of the sort of European names are ones that I've made and a lot of them are like local level people. Yeah. So I, haven't really... I recognize the name. It's just like just the vision, you know. Oh, they, right. they don't they don't vibe with the vision right now. Um Alright, let's go over. Let's let's go over to a different region. Oh there's the bottom ones as well. Hmm. Yeah. Um Yeah let's go over. Alright and we've got uh, other companies we can invite from as well. Oh man. So, like, so okay, I want you. I don't know if this is cheating. I, I would like for you to like cut me off when you think, because because you have a good gauge for this now of how many people to book it or, or whatnot. You know, to fill up a card. Hmm. Like, can you give me a, like a I would, little? I would say you know, maybe, just just say maybe when. Like, say maybe when. like three more. Three more. Three I would say. more. Okay, three more. We'll do three more. So we got like WWE, um, New Japan, AEW, Ring of Honor, AAA, Impact, Stardom. All Japan, CMLL, GCW, Dragon Gate, DDT, Noah, OTT, Chikara, and Eve. Let's go to Chikara real quick. Alright, and the Chikara roster is weird because it's kind of like a mix of old Chikara and new. Yeah. Um. Go down a little bit. I know Vin Gerard was booked for Chikara. Um, way, Tony way Deppin? back when. Tony Deppin? He's in. Alright. I'm kind of feeling quack too. Where was he? He's ah. at the top. Alright, alright, let's move away from Chikara. Alright, so one more. Hmm. One more. This has to be a good one. Um, no, not GCW. Uh, let's try AEW. I want a superstar. Try Kenny Omega. All right. And he's in. All so right. we, we've got like a hell of a this. group of people to work with. I agree. All right. I'm feeling strong. So uh, just in case you don't remember, you can. Uh, there's no like triple threats or four ways, unfortunately, in this mode. Mm. It's just like one on one, two on two, three on three, four on four, or mixed, which is handicap matches. But they tend to gotcha. not get written down a bit. Yeah, I got gotcha. you. Um, so, do people usually max out, or like, how, how do people usually do it? Uh, well, it depends. Like, some we've had people do as little as six matches. Yeah, because I was feeling like seven matches. Like, I, I, I want a little sweet spot, you know. Hmm. Seven, seven or eight, you know. We'll, we'll feel it. We'll gauge it. All right. Uh, okay. First match. I want a singles match. All right. So your guests are Danny Luna, Kenta Kabashi, Mitsuharu Misawa, Effie, CM Punk, Mike Quackenbush, Tony Deppin, and Kenny Omega. I had to actually sign okay. your boy, uh, uh, Trevor Babcock. Trevor yeah. Babcock. Alright. Um, let's start with Trevor Babcock. 
versus Effie. Oh. I'm feeling that right now. Oh, I got gear. Oh, but yeah, yeah, yeah. You gotta go with that gear. I need to change that because with the parts craft, you can get like uh, actual fishnet tights now. Ooh. So I'll need to change that at some point. Two. Okay. Um. Second match singles. I'm a singles guy when it comes to Fire Pro. But oh. we'll get some tag people in. Yeah. Um. Who is the Who's the guy that was supposed to make his debut and didn't? That is Brent Carter here. Okay. Well, we're gonna go with Brent Carter. Give him his big break. Mm -hmm. And he's he'll good. go one on one with CM Punk. Oh. It's a big debut. And we have what? What in the world is that hair? I is that like no supposed idea. to be like skinhead punk? Um, guessing so. <laughs> okay. Uh, match number three. Let's do a tag. Uh, and and um, Brent is actually in the chat, and he says that is my dream match right there. Amazing. <laughs> well, there you go, Brent. Knock it out of the park, bud. We have um. Let's do, okay, I want Danny Luna and Piper Niven. And we'll do that. I've got a few gears for it. I, like, I always like the pink gear that she does. All right. And then they're going to face Kenta Kobashi and Masawa. No pressure for them, then. No pressure at all. I think they can handle it. I believe in that match. Uh, there is okay. there is the leap, Jim, but uh, uh, Vipers is only one of them we've still got signed at the moment. Gotcha. The leap was a stable we had in the old one, which was Viper, Session Moth Martina, David Arquette, and Bam Bam Bigelow. What was that called? Uh, the leap, but like spelled like one three three seven. Okay. Um, singles. Let's see. Um, let's go. Who do we have again? Everett, Jody, Josh, Jam, Aisha, Shug, Johnny, Emily, Amy, Amy Alonji, and I'll split. Rose Marie, yourself, Sarah Marie Taylor, Rusev, Man. I want Rusev versus John Blood. Oh, I like, I like. All right. So like making this up as we go along. The the old save. Johnny only ever lost two singles matches. Damn. And like one of them was against NL Slip. And the other, the other one was against a literal bear. Oh, dude, I wrestled a bear once, too, for a caveman stream. All right. Look, oh, love caveman. Great guy. Yeah. Um, let's do a six-man. All right. I look? want the Wakanda... What was the team? Wakanda Dynasty. Yes, Wakanda Dynasty. I like Jam O'Malley because I have a friend called John O'Malley. Ah. He reminds me of John O'Malley. Um, see, I, I, I'm, I'm going to save the Josh Wells, Jody thing because I feel like there's something there. Okay. Um, is there any... I'm trying to think. Let's see. We have the... Uh, the the ICW tag champs who are they? Uh, yes, uh, Krieger and Looking Sharp. Okay, yes, them. Uh, and then who else do we have that we've invited? Uh, Quack, Tony Depp, and, and Kenny Omega. Ooh, okay. Um. 
We'll put them with. Uh, let's go down. Can you go down on the big one? I'm indecisive. Don't want to mess up. Okay, give them rosemary. Ooh. I feel like I should have invited more people. Match number six Single? is uh we'll do a we'll do a tag. All I right. know there's a lot of tag matches. Um, do Josh and Jody. Versus me and Andrew Everett. Oh, try to split <laughs> up this clout chase. I'm, <laughs> I'm stealing Andrew Everett. I feel bad because I didn't book Tony Depp in. I oh, know you. Um, well, you've still got like four potential match slots. Yeah. Okay. And uh, you, you've still got Quack, Depp, and, and Kenny Omega to use. I'll do Slip versus Deppin. And my main event main event one Kenny Omega versus Mike Quackenbush. We clash a lot of styles, so I hope it works. And there we go. It's a All right. damn thing card if I don't say so myself. I was just about to ask what you think. I need to open this chat or just check, like peep in the chat real quick. Sure, um, one moment, I'll furnish you with the link. What's Ginger... Ginger Pimpernel. Yeah, I found it. Just want to see what people think, anybody's watching. Yeah. So, like, viewers, what do you think of this card? I, I want an honest rating, like, you can be harsh. Need to learn. Um, all right. I like the card. I like the Danny Luna Piper Divot versus Masawa and Kobashi. That's that's my the big match I'm looking forward to. I want Teddy Long, dude. Yeah. Uh, we're good to go. All right. Yeah, I feel like Lou... Trevor Babcock versus... Uh, what were you I, saying? I feel like Lou and uh, Lou Krieger being on the same team with Rosemary would be a lot of fun. I think they'd react funny to their to her shenanigans. So, like, what what's Krieger and Lou's gimmick? Um... Or, like... It's... It started out, like... When Lou started out, it was kind of like, uh... Because Lou's, like, pretty short. He's, like... Five foot three or something. Okay. Uh, but and uh, the whole he's, his whole thing was being kind of like almost like the scrappy do kind of thing, I guess. Where you know he thinks he's bigger than he is and tries to fight people bigger than he is, but also fancying himself as a bit of a ladies' man. No, ah. but now he's gone on this sort of like wannabe deathmatch legend tear. <laughs> And uh, the Krieger's like, um, kind of like, like, Krieger's a funny man in his own right as well, but he usually plays like the... He's the like guy. a straight man? Yeah, well, 
Not so much the straight man, but the guy that kind of shakes his head at whatever Lou's up to. Ah. <laughs> uh, Alright. I'm excited. Yeah, so I'm ready for this to start. I'm, I'm... What's this guy's story? I, I think... <laughs> <laughs> What is this guy's story? That's a, uh, that's the question on everybody's mind. Um, and I set up well, music for him because Trevor Babcock. I didn't know until like you told me earlier that he's not actually a wrestler. So I just picked yeah. the first piece of music that came up in a YouTube search of Trevor Babcock. All right. <laughs> he's he's a uh, the ba- or it's actually uh, Trevor the Babcock Babcock. Oh, okay. Um, he also is known as the cock, also known as the murder cock. Um, here comes Effie. Uh, so, he, Trevor Babcock, he uh, he runs his own little like fire pro promotion. All right, um, okay. Like just for us, hmm. uh, like like me and my friends. Um, so, you know, I, I wanted to pay him his respect, get him booked. I can relate. I mean, we do something pretty similar here, so... No! Got I turned down the volume, or I guess that turned down your volume, too. One sec. Oh! Using magic tricks. Oh, yeah, no, that's, uh, that's the spell. <laughs> I, I'm, a. Uh, I know a lot about Trevor Babcock. There we go. This is one of his big moves. I love how the guy just like curls up like like the letter <laughs> C. It's very Looney Tunes. Oh yeah. Uh, the, the cock is a, a very serious wrestler, actually, if I may say so myself. Um, he has the the spinning motherfuck, which is his big finish. See if oh another spell. Effie, Effie's like the nicest person in the world. I just want to say that. Oh, he's one of those guys you never hear anyone say anything bad about. Yeah. I really want to try and get him in on one of these as well, get him to guest book something. I'm sure he'd do it. Uh, he's uh, He's been streaming on Twitch a lot lately too. Yeah, so... That may be the problem, like, in trying to get the right time for him, because obviously he yeah. does a lot of stuff of his own. Oh. I've, uh, I've been considering, like, doing Twitch myself. I just, I don't play a lot of video games, so I don't know what I would stream. Oh, my God. This is a, this is a fight. Yeah. I've never seen Trevor Babcock wrestle like this. He's shooting, brother. Yeah. There's some bad blood here. Who, uh, who do you got in this? I don't know, like, because if you asked me before, I would say Effie, but looking at this yeah. now, you know, it's hard to... Oh, he punched him in the butt. It's hard to bet against the Babcock. Yeah. Well, so when I did Fire Pro Promoter, I booked Trevor Babcock, and he always had like match of the night every single time. So it was kind of like a little cheat almost going into this because I, I figured he'd have a good match. <laughs> That's a good one, Jim. You can't back bad talk to Babcock. There you go. I like that. I mean, could it be bad blood, like maybe because Babcock wasn't booked on Effie's Big Gay Brunch? That's true. Oh, I'd like to see that. Uh, I probably should have put Trevor with me against Josh and Jody, looking back at it. Because uh, we, we have a little tag team in Fire Pro called The Bond. Oh. The Bond are very successful. Effie's starting to come back in, into it a bit now after that opening flurry. You know, it's it, it's kind of hard wrestling somebody who, who's not a wrestler. Um, you don't really know how to how to scout them. That's a fair point. 
and take away the referee is Terry Long. Mm. Senior official Terry Long. Oh yeah, I forgot about Teddy Long. Teddy Long looking jacked. He is actually, yeah. Does Teddy Long ever look like that? Like just huge? Not that I recall. I mean, I think that's supposed to be like WCW era Teddy Long. Because I notice he's got like the little rat tail at the back. Ooh. Honestly, I wouldn't be surprised. I feel like Teddy Long was a stud back in the day, probably. Uh, there are oh. several tag team matches, T Gray. Oh, he's passing them. Oh no, he's gonna miss. Oh, and Effie, ever the professional, sells it anyway. Well, I think it was a knee drop almost to the calf. This is uh, Trevor Babcock's serious attire, so. You know where he stands in this match. Ooh. Is that it? Oh. No? Effie Jusen will try and catch his breath instead. And, oh no, try to play a trick on the referee. Uh, you hate to see it. Oh, uh, what the hell. I love that sound. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's funny. I haven't seen that before on Fire Pro. You know, I don't know. It's like one of the, the ones, the moves that come under entertainment. Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> Ooh. Fire Pro has such a good engine. Like, oh, totally. Yeah. I, I've never played it like... Whoa! I've never played it like... Like, besides simulating it. Yeah. But like, the simulations are so good. Oh, totally. Oh, hello, Jen. Oh, oh shit. I'm sorry to hear that. I hope you're feeling better. Migraines are never fun. Oh, that's not good. Put us uh, at, a, at a low volume and let us make you feel better. Yeah. Trevor Babcock once told me that uh, light tubes don't hurt, and I saw they got one out, so we'll see if that's true or not. Would you take a light tube, Adam? Mm, absolutely not. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm Me a, neither. I'm a giant wimp, though. Like, so. <laughs> Me too. No, no parts of that sounds fun to me. Ooh. Oh, oh, oh hey. And you just know in real life, Effie would sell that move, like, brilliantly. Just like that, I think. Yeah. Curled over. Oh, rolling back. Yeah. Slap. I think this has been a good match so far. Yeah. I mean, there's not many promoters out there that would have the balls to boot like an almost 20 minute opener, but. Mm. <laughs> Well, I gave them like six to eight, but they're kind of overstaying their welcome. Going into business for themselves. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I mean, the fans aren't complaining. Oh, Effie with the Lesnar jiggle. Hits the rope. Oh. Spear! Oh. Effie's so strong. Mm. He's oh. a very big dude. Give up. Give up. Give up. Give up. <laughs> and Taylor style DDP. I really want to see the spinning motherfuck. Yeah, I just want to know what it is. Oh. Oh. He loves that roly poly. <laughs> oh yeah. It's a staple. I mean, it, it kind of freezes the guy. 
I have a theory that, you know, those little spells he was doing earlier makes it the, the opponent kind of, you know, frozen during that, that, that move. Because mm. if you notice, the guy kind of gets paralyzed for a second. Ooh. These guys are still going so fast. How are they not gassed? Oh! Grabbing the ball. He has him by the cock. You know, if I... <laughs> I that, that's a good strategy, going, going for the bad cock. This crowd booing Effie. Why would they do such a thing? I think Trevor Babcock just really won the crowd over, if anything. I couldn't see Effie, like, being a bad guy. No. Like, I'm sure he has been, but... Oh, Babcock with the win. Oh, is that it? Oh, yeah. no, no spinning motherfuck. I don't even remember what the spinning motherfuck is, if I'm being honest. I just remember <laughs> it was wild. I love the saxophone. All right. 93%. 93. There we go. That's good. Very solid opener. Mm. All right, Brent Carter. This is your big break. Don't fuck up, kid. Make yourself famous. <laughs> Make yourself famous. Climb the ladder. Wait, so you can add custom music? I didn't even know that was a thing. Uh, on the... Yeah, on the, that and the PS4 version. Albeit, I think there's really? like a limit on how much you can have on the PS4 version. Is this like new? No, it's always been there. Or most of the time it's been there. Where do you go to like uh, you do just, that? There's uh, one of the game folders. There's okay. you, you just put the music files in that. Hmm. There's a music, there, what, in the main game folder, there's what, another folder just uh, titled BGM. You just put it in there. Same for entrance music. Alright. Although well, you need to mess around with the volume a little bit, otherwise it comes out way too loud in the game, but... Ah. Uh, it's all good to know. Alright. So, our boy, Brent Carter, versus CM Punk, coming out of retirement for one night only. <laughs> For for the second match on the the Josh Fuller stream, do people like name their shows? Uh, some of them have had names. Um, yeah, the first the first person to comment on the the Twitch gets to name the show. What? Keep me updated on what it is. Oh, we've already the got song? We've, we've already got it, and it's named for your team, Fuller's House. There we go. I was in a tag team called Fuller's House back in the day. Yeah. I don't remember Punk's Can voice we... being that gruff, but okay. Mm. Yeah, he's been going through it. Um, can we rename it in Fuller's house, like in your house? Ah, I like it. I feel like there, there's a pun there somewhere. Oh, Brent you... Carter, are, are you, is he still here? By the way. Uh, yeah, he's in there. Brent Carter, is do you do you cut your sleeves just like that? So I'm really interested in how how that gets cut like that. Kind of looks like like the Incredible Hulk almost. Kind of like ripped off. I mean, I, I mainly put it there to give it the image of uh, that they have been cut off as opposed to oh, it's just a sleeveless shirt, you know? Ah, uh, yeah. That's smart. See a punk really working. There's something about his head that's really off-putting. I know, it's a weird one. Oh. 
Well, I think the best way to fix that is for Brent Carter to drop him on it. Yeah. Yeah. It's, oh. It's a good point. He kind of looks like he works at like a tattoo shop or something. Yeah. I think it's also the the goatee. Mm. Yeah, because he didn't have that for very long. Yeah. So we're not used to seeing him with one. Usually you just had like full beard. Gotcha. I like uh, Brent Carter's color scheme. I'm a big, big yellow guy. Now he's holding his own against like a like a bona fide legend here so far. That's true. Yeah. Oh my goodness. I think that might be the closest move in the game to the like the Tilt the World Backbreaker thing that he would do. Like the double arm one. Oh yeah. I was thinking he was like gonna do the pedigree because he did the, the Pepsi plunge. Oh yeah, yeah. CM Punk's uh, reinventing himself. He puts the, the X's on the arms now. The welcome to Chicago, motherfucker. That's right, that's what it was called. I had a, um... Have you ever gotten one of, like, the Pro Wrestling Tees grab bags? Uh, I haven't, no. So... They have these things called grab bags where, like, you pay eight bucks and they send you a random shirt. Right. And uh, I got my shirt and it was just like a CM Punk shirt. And I think it just said, like, just like, fuck you or like, <laughs> it said something, but it, it just it just said fuck. Like, that was like a giant word just on the shirt. I was like, I can't wear this anyway. <laughs> well, I think, like, if. Brent Carter wins, he should steal the move and call it like Welcome to Perth, you dafty. Mm. I'm really bored for Brent Carter here. Oh, big boy sent on. I like the sent on to the back. I don't know if I've ever seen that. Oh! There we go. Yeah. I've never seen the commentators before. Yeah. Oh! GTS on the outside, which obviously oh. makes it hurt more. Oh no, oh no. Yeah. <laughs> Can you do like commentary spots? Probably not. Uh, no, no, you can't, unfortunately. See, that would be, be cool. Oh, he did the Falcon deal. Arrow. This match is picking up. Oh. oh! I was about to say, nobody kicks oh. out of the Falcon Arrow. <laughs> I guess not. What do you see? There's a really cringy video of me uh, lip singing the CM Punk theme when I was like 12. Oh. 84? Yeah. I'll take 84. So, respectable, respectable, yeah. considering the it. convergent styles. Yeah. Okay. That's so a good Luma one. And Viper. Is, can you make a tornado? Uh, too late, unfortunately. Really? Oh. That's fine. Uh, it only lets you set those kind of rules, like, before setting up the show. Gotcha. Uh, that works for me. That's fine. Punk doing all that talk on like the Colt Cabana podcast about like part timers coming in and like going over like the newer yeah, younger right? wrestlers and now he's just flattened Brent Carter. <laughs> yeah. I want a, a UFC rematch between the two of them. Oh, we can do that. It's like a shoot fight match. Here they come. All right. It's a very colorful team. Yeah. I mean, I, I've known Viper for a while. She's always liked brighter color outfits and stuff, so.
They're here. colorful too. Yeah. And with one of my old time favorite wrestling themes. I really didn't want to put them together, but I mean, I feel like this is just, you know, it's really intrig it was a really intriguing match to me. Yeah. So who have you got for this one, chat? Personally, I'm pulling for Danny Luna, hmm. but it's going to be hard to beat Misawa and Kenta Kobashi. Yeah, and two all-time legends. Yeah, like two of the greatest wrestlers of all time. I like this music. Oh, it's uh, from Thundercat. <laughs> really? Yeah. I was about to say, like, it, it feels like a show song. It's, uh, I found randomly that, like, music from the old Thundercats cartoon actually really fits this game. Gotcha. I've never seen Thundercats. Really? Oh, oh, oh well, you're very young. That's like the... <laughs> yeah. Oh, no worries. Yeah. No worries, yeah. mate. Yeah. Go have your fun and catch you later, man. <laughs> Our boy Brent has to go. Oh, no. Well, you'll, you'll get him next time, Brent. Raper and Danny starting to come back into this one a bit. Pull up the stream oh. on my computer so I can read the chat. Kobashi just going to town on Danny Luna on the outside. Oh Jesus! Oh my god! See that does her more on the outside. Yeah. And she's right back up. What a trooper. Very tough. Oh. Trading rolling elbows with Masawa. Yeah, really, I expected this to be strong style. You're the resident jungle cat. I am I'm very well. Resident jungle cat. Alright, now I now I can read the chat. This, this is a party. Yeah. Yes, Jim, you missed a burning hammer. On the outside no less. I'll be honest, I, I was plugging my laptop in, so I, I've missed the beginning of this match. But how has it been? Uh oh. Uh, oh! I mean, mostly Misawa and Kabashi, but there has been some back and forth. Like, like Danny and Viper aren't taking this line down. That's good. I believe in him. There we go. I mean, Viper's a tough girl, Danny's a tough girl. Mm. Going up against Misawa and Kabashi. Yeah, I mean, like, you know, it's it's pretty notable that they've they've lasted this long. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, oh my God. Yeah, they didn't come here to play. Mm. Is Burning Hammer like a normal move for him, or is it a special move? Uh, it's one of his signatures. Yeah. Mm. Okay. So he's just been hitting those things. Yeah, which is weird because the last match that they had, he didn't hit a single one. Oh my god. That's four. Yeah. Yeah. He's trying to make up yeah. for the last match. What's the slap sound? Huh. Come on, girl, you can do this. I'm guessing that's the, the new fish net. Uh, yes, or You're one of them anyway. About. There's like a thinner. Oh, there's multiple fish there. 
Yeah, there's like a thinner version of it as well. Hmm. Not thinner, like finer fishnets. I think it's just... Jesus. You can tell Danny's tough because she doesn't have knee pads. Oh, yeah. Oh. You can tell Viper's tough because she's the air show. Yeah. One, two, three. Oh. Oh. I need to put up a fight. That was a slaughter. And, like, no shame in losing to that team, certainly. Yeah. They, they took, like, five burning hammers. 82, they were, that's, hey, that's good. Yeah, I mean, I would assume it would have been higher if, it, if not for, it was, like, for the most part, pretty one sighted so. Yeah. What's Lay Perv? Uh, that's, a. Uh, uh, Carpenter Brute song? Oh. Rusev versus Johnny Blood. I'm excited for this one. So, if since you're familiar with New Legacy Inc., you, yes. I, I think you will dig the entrance I've done for Johnny. Okay. I know he dug it, because like, we debuted it during the aforementioned charity stream as a surprise for him, and put him in a match with Dakota Kai. Hmm. He's a GCW six-man tag team champion. Yeah. With who? Uh, I can't remember. Okay. Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah, I love it. Oh, my God. Dude, he looks badass. <laughs> oh, they have like a little logo. That's awesome. Yeah. What the hell? You're you're showing me so many things I didn't know that you could do on this game. Yeah, this is the I'm real guessing. big match, John. Yeah, I'm guessing there's like a logo a logo folder to them. Uh, yes. Sorry, I'm taking notes. The, also, the DLC is all apart from the parts craft, which is like the newest one. Uh, all of the DLC is like pretty heavily reduced right now. Gotcha. For the Steam sale. Oh, well, look into that. Speaking of, speaking of Steam, I'm going to. I'm need to. Start playing uh, Streets of Rage 4. I need to start playing video games in general. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I'm really normie when it comes to video games. You it's really, really sad. What? Normie, like I, I play uh, like the, the like Madden and 2K and boring stuff. Well, I mean, I used to play a, a whole lot of 2K until like. Like, obviously I didn't buy So the, the game started getting bad? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what, are, what are your thoughts on this new, uh, like, All-Stars game coming out? Uh, if it's if it plays like All-Stars, it could be a lot of fun, I think. Because, like, All-Stars was a game that was, like, great to just have a laugh with your friends with. Mm -hmm. So if it plays like that, plus it's got, like, dumb shit, like, throwing people at crocodiles, then I'm all in. <laughs> Yeah. I think it'll be fun. I also... I think it's good, uh, like, between that and, like, Fire Pro, there's that Retro Mania game coming out, uh, there's the Chikara game. It's good. I forgot to, about Retro Mania. You haven't heard about it? No, I've heard about it. I, just, I forgot it was happening. Uh, it's out in July, I think. Oh. Huh. Um... Yeah, I've been playing NBA 2K to E Razer D Gen 20 XX. I always just call him Long Jim. Name. <laughs> yeah, I'll call him Jim. 
I'm playing a lot of it. I've been in a, a league. Oh god! What the hell? Yeah, that, uh, that's just you need a safe spot. Because we do, we all know like Johnny Blood's a big deathmatch pervert. I thought he was a toaster pervert. He's a lot of perverts. All right. <laughs> A man of many perverted hats. Hmm. Big gooch buster there. Gooch <laughs> buster. I like that. That's what I'm calling it from now on. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, we got blocked. Can't be doing that on my show. Yeah, pervert raconteur train, so that's what he is. But we I haven't don't. played many uh, career modes in 2K. Kind of just play online, right? The gym. See, like most of my stuff was in like universe, and it was with like kind of like what we were talking about before, with like dumb characters that, like me and friends had created and stuff. Yeah. Well, I was I was really big into the 2K games. Like I was on a um, when I was like a young teen, I was on a, a wrestling video game forum. And I, I did. I had my own like little league. I would run shows and book people, and it was fun times. Yeah, we we did a thing kind of like that. We've just kind of moved it all over to Fire Pro now. Yeah. Um, ooh, ooh, almost. There's so much blood in the ring. Yeah, There's that, so much blood. That's one of the mod things, basically, that the blood doesn't fade away. That's awesome. I didn't know there was Fire Pro mods, man. I gotta look into this. Oh, yeah. I mean, I use... It's mostly just the little sort of quality of life ones like that I use. But there's some, like, crazy stuff you can do them. Oh. Batista oh. bomb! Two, three. Oh! Dug that match. Look, dude, it's good! It's funny. Ninety percent. Ninety, there we go. How, how do you think this is ranking up right now? Like. Currently, you're at an yeah. average of 87. Yeah, but like compared to the, you know, the heavy hitters of all time, the so record books. If you continue at the rate you're going, you'll be about like sort of mid table. Oh. Which would, it would put you above jo both Joshua and Jody. Okay, well, you know what? I'm cool with that. That's you're all I need. The highest plate, like not counting the one by my friend Maya that I mentioned earlier. The not counting that, the top placed wrestling person is Shug. With, what did he get? Uh, 96.6. Damn. It should be noted he's like a fire pro veteran though. He's been playing these games for years. Uh... And bottom place. I paid. I didn't pay a lot of attention to like styles and stuff too though, which I think is a, a big part of it. Yeah, well, I've been kind of uh, adjusting to try and get the, the best out of that as we go. Uh, well, awesome. Or as we were booking, rather. There we go. This is Shug, Aisha, and Jam O'Malley against Krager, Looking Sharp, and Rosemary. What a team. Jam O'Malley is such a good name. <laughs> Your name is being Jam. That's great. Is it like jam like I'm jamming or is it like 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 grape jam or like jelly? Um I guess like the knowing him probably the latter. That's uh, what I was hoping. And here we go, the elongated entrance that basically I because I made Shug's entrance last pretty long just because I really like his music. 
What rapper is this? Uh, the song is by Rudimental. Oh. Look at him go. Good music. I think it's a UK based rapper, like Rudimental. Oh, I was thinking it was slow tie, but I didn't want to think that like all British rappers sounded the same or like make that assessment. Uh, I was wrong. Rudimental and anyway. the song is uh, Toaster Differences. Like I think it's one he just like picked up while he was like based over here. Gosh. It's weird seeing Rosemary come out to that song. Because <laughs> that's their song, right? Uh, yeah, well, that's Krieger's song, yeah. Okay. Because he's Scudmaster Sexy. You know, speaking of like weird style clashes like this, I was like watching just some like random matches on YouTube last night. Yep. And I came across one, uh, was, I think it might have been Beyond, and it was uh, Orange Cassidy against Sue Young. Oh! That was a lot that of fun. That was good. He was like, hey, hey, so I'll, I hey. have a, a Shin D story. Or oh! Let's go. Please. So, I mean... <laughs> so, uh, back in the day, there was this promotion called Nova Pro. And, yeah, I'll remember that. Uh, yeah, I, I refer to it as Redacted Pro now. Yeah, well, uh, my, a friend, my friend Brian used to ring him or something. Brian, yeah. The dude. Um, so, back at Nova Pro, there's this one venue where, like, if the wrestlers wanted to go to the back, there's this, like, table that was right up against the wall. Is this going to end in a count out? No, okay. Um,. There was this table against the wall that you had to walk past. Right. There's people like sitting at the table, so you had to walk behind these people. It was like a really like tight fit to get there, right? Mm -hmm. And like the way that I was sitting, because I was I was like I, I was doing the ring bell, or I think I was doing music. And um, I, I like I got up whenever somebody would walk by to like make it easier. For some reason, I don't know why, but every time that Suge came out, I. When I got up, I turned around and went like, like face first on the wall with my hands on the wall, and he had to like walk past me like really creepy, like like it was it was real creepy. So <laughs> he did it once, and he was like, "Oh, that was weird," because it was weird. Yeah. And then the second time he did it, I, I did it again for some reason. And it was it was just with Shug, and I I, I even was like, you know, like I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> But it, it was bad. So I don't know. He probably thinks I'm a creep. Shug's a lovely man. I'm sure he yeah. thought it was just like an awkward thing. One of those things that <laughs> happens. It definitely was. Well, he, he, like, obviously he was based in the UK for a good little while and he became a regular at one of my local promotions. And, oh man, like, some of the matches he had were just, like, so much fun. Especially yeah, ones with Gene Money. Because Gene Money's very similar to Shug in that he's, like, known as a comedy guy, but can go in the ring as well. Yeah, I'm really happy that he's, like, doing things on TV right now. Oh, totally. He seems like the nicest guy ever. He is. He really, really is. Like, he's another one of those people you'll just, like, you'll never hear anyone say an unkind word about him. How did he do the neckbreaker and she stood up? Uh, you sometimes get, like, little random acts of no-selling like that. Okay.
So yeah, like everyone in this match again has is has booked a show for us. Really? Or co-booked in the case of Lou and Krager. That's pretty cool. Lou and Krager came bottom, by the way. They're what? They 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 came bottom of the list. Oh really? Yeah. Oh no. Yeah, so like, I feel like the strategy would be to like book less matches because I feel like there's less room for error, but I don't know. I feel like this is going to be a good rating. Yeah. I mean, should it's going long. Should actually book the tournament. Really? A tag team tournament, the Teddy Long Invitational. Ah, oh, that's smart. Uh, which he, he and Aisha ended up winning, by the way. Was, the finals was them against uh, Andrew Everett and one of my made up guys called Spot Monkey. Spot Monkey? He's just like a That's dude. Great. He's just like a dude with like a monkey mask mm -hmm. and like yellow and black like spotted trunks. Uh, on and, a Trevor Babcock's bed, there was a, a hell monkey that we found and he was just like this really evil monkey. Came from hell. I love animal gimmicks. Yeah. Wait, wait. He was in a, a death feud with Space Monkey. Oh. Mm. Yeah. Well, so, uh, we had, um, although we can't do it properly, although we might be able to now with the parts craft to hmm. make the right bits, but in the 2K games, I had a guy with a horse head who was like our, just like our punch bag that would always lose matches. Uh. uh like a very brightly coloured horse head and brightly coloured tights and that, and his name was Joe Brony. Ooh, ooh, Brony, like uh, yeah, that's good. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what does his voice sound like that? I don't know, actually. Like Jan does not sound like that. I don't know why he has that voice thing. Maybe developed it on his own. Hmm. Tiger's just beating the shit out of him. This match has to have like a, a good rating, right? You would think so. Oh, he's fucking. Yeah, oh. Jam will do that. <laughs> Jam will do that, that's fine. Oh, the chaos is breaking out right now. This is getting crazy. Jesus. Oh, lovely reversal. Oh, who's, the, who's the legal person that's out of the ring? Who's the what? The legal person outside of the ring. Uh, I think must, oh, doesn't oh, matter. Trigger. Mm. The match is a sprint. Mm. It doesn't feel like 20 odd minutes. I mean, I know obviously time in the game passes faster than real oh. time, but. Lou and Shug is a match I would like to see actually. Mm. Ooh, that was slick. These boys are working, dude. Oh, yeah, well, Lou and Krieger came from the same wrestling school that Noam Dar and Kaylee Ray came from. Okay. Like, that's like one of the two sort of main wrestling schools in Scotland. Is there like an ICW school? Uh, yeah. Um. I can't think if we've got anyone from there in the game. I know Jyoti trained there, but she'd already trained in Italy before she moved here. But yeah, there's an ICW still. Ooh. Like the long running ones are like PBW Academy, which is the one that Lou, Krager, Kaylee, and Noam came from. 
mm -hmm. and there's the source, which is like a, a lot of the NXT UK people, like the Coffee Brothers, and uh, you know, it's like the Coffee Brothers. What about uh, did McIntyre train somewhere else? Like, did he go somewhere he, else in Europe? He actually or... trained down in England. Uh, But like Source was like the Coffee Brothers, uh, Joe Hendry trained there, uh, Viper, um, Nicky Cross. There's like basically all of the people that from Scotland that have done well for themselves over the last few years came from those two schools. That's good. Just made me realize that like, WWE got everybody. <laughs> yep. Uh. It's a double-edged sword for me because, on one hand, like I know, like there's a few of these people that like I know, and like it's really good seeing them you know, being able to make more money for what they do and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. well, I'm really, really happy for them. But mm -hmm. on the other hand, it's like, I don't like the idea of one single company having so much sway over an independent team. Yeah. Regardless of whether it's WWE or anybody else. Yeah. It's interesting. Oh, oh Rosemary wait, who won? I missed it. Rosemary Pinjam. Rosemary. I have high hopes for this. Oh, and Gregor clapping them. Like, show your respect. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. Let's go. So that's pushed you up quite a little bit, and you've still got some Let's like what should go. be bangers to go. Oh, uh, and we're next. I really like my character in this game. Like, I think the person who made me did a really good job. Yeah, they did. Like, I, when I was editing it, mainly so that I could, like, like add, like, entrance music, because I'm a big nerd for that mm. kind of stuff. But, like, I noticed they did a good job. Like, I did, like, a little bit of, like, fine-tuning, but... Mm. Because, like, as I said, I've been playing Fire Pro for many, many years. Mm. And I'm... I feel like I'm pretty good at getting like the best out of people on it. Yep. So I've... Let's see how me and Andrew Everett gel. You know, like, the only sort of flaw I noticed with you in this was that you were like a bit overpowered. Ah. Uh, that's not a problem. <laughs> <laughs> They had you yeah. like uh, like Minoru Suzuki strength. <laughs> I mean, that, that's pretty right. <laughs> Whose theme is this? Uh, Joshua's. Oh. Or he has used it anyway. I don't know if he still does. Do 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 do. Ah, man, it's like I was like, because I noticed I was trying to watch like a couple of your matches to. Uh, see if I could identify what the song was before I asked you. Mm -hmm. And I could. There was one where you can kinda hear it, like with the entrance, but you can't really make it out over like the noise of everything else. Yeah. And I was like, that riff sounds kind of like Silver Trail, <laughs> and I, was, yeah. I wasn't sure. <laughs> yeah. When uh, when Russell comes back, I think I'm gonna change my theme song. But I, I love the Silver Chair song. Oh yeah, it's a cracking song. And it works you, really well. Thank you for the follow, Mr. Meme Lord123. So alright, chat. So Jody and I, we want to start teaming in the future. Um, we have a, a few different names that we have in mind. I, I want you guys to pick out what the best one is. There's there's three names in particular. Uh, I need you guys to help me with this. Mm -hmm. So, first team or first name. There's uh, the Cum Shots. 
which is a little racy, so I don't know if we can use that everywhere. Yeah, like, I don't, like, obviously with, like, Joshua being affiliated with Shikara, I don't think he'd get away with that one there. Yeah, well, it would be me and Jody. Jody... Oh, sorry, Jody, I beg your pardon. Yeah. Um, and then there is, uh, the Mutuals, mm -hmm. which I think is, is pretty decent. And then there's, uh, the one that I came up with that I really like. Uh, J and J insecurity. That I like. Our chainsaw doesn't like the cum shots. I think. Yeah. Or again, I think more because the mutuals. I don't, I don't know, know if you would get away with it. J and J insecurity. Yeah, I think we got, we got one for J and J insecurity. Yeah. No, like I, a lot of these ones that uh, we've used in this, I made them. Like, I, it, was, it was me that made the Joshua. Yeah? Really? Uh, and the Jody, actually. Hmm. That's pretty nice. Yeah, that's, that's really good, Josh. I really want to wrestle Josh, so it's good to see that we have chemistry so far. This is like Battle of the Skinny Boys. <laughs> yeah. Skinny you boys. No, like, we, we could have booked Manlin in this, because he's really skinny as well. <laughs> mm. I think, yeah, I think Mutuals is like a good wholesome name, but J&J mm. &J Insecurity, I think, just has a really good ring to it. Four big skinny men slapping sticks, that's a good name too. Skinny Boy Tournament, I'm, I'm bored boy with tournament. that. Oh, Big Choke Boy! Andrew Everett's looking fucking hossy. Well, he's seven foot four. Yeah, he definitely wouldn't be in the skinny boy tournament. One, two, he did okay when we had him on. I was supposed to wrestle Cheeseburger, but I got hurt. Oh, what? Well, that'd be fun. Yeah. Might still happen. I'm really uh, I, I trained with Cheeseburger like uh, a few months ago. He's really cool. Oh yeah, again I've heard nothing but him being lovely. I really, um, that was an, another match that was supposed to happen and didn't get gutted about. Like when, mm. like Warhorse was supposed to be coming over to the UK. Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, one of the people he was supposed to wrestle down in England was Gene Money. Mm. And that would have been just hysterical fun. Who's Gene Money? He's um, one of the guys we've got on our roster. Uh, the guy I mentioned that was like, like kind of like Shug, and that he's like a funny guy who can actually properly wrestle as well. Gotcha. And a really, really good dude as well. Really nice guy. Mm. Believe it. Like, and I've mentioned it on the stream a bunch of times, it always comes up. But, um, they had a match at my local promotion for like a Halloween show. Uh, him and Shook. A zombie lumberjack match. What in the world? Like, were the lumberjacks all zombies? Yep. Mm. Nice. Like they hired, you know, like those live zombie experience things that you can do. Yeah. They hired a bunch of the people they from like them. So they were like high detailed like zombies. Like, yeah. That's uh, awesome. And the uh, the gimmick was that like whoever gets bitten and turned into a zombie loses. Uh, oh, that's good. Jody bust open. I'm not surprised. But yeah, it was a lot of fun. Mm. It's my favorite Jody gear. I wish he still used it. Like the yellow flannel. Mm. Oh no, that's his finisher. 
Yeah, it was really hard to make Jody because yeah. like almost every match of his I could find was just like him getting his ass kicked for like ten minutes straight <laughs> and then winning with a roll up or something. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I think I need to tag out. I'm really nervous. Or not. Or just kick him in the dick. Yeah, that always works. Thank you, Ivan BJ7U, for the follow. Appreciate it. Ooh. Oh my god. No. Oh! Uh, Throwing that fight uh, spirit. Dude, I'm really scared. I need to tag out. Oh, guillotine. Oh, there we go. Guillotine. <laughs> oh, the ref just says, give up, give up, give up. <laughs> Joshua, you know, managed to fight his way out, but Andrew Everett running good interference there. Oh, fighting him off, makes the hot tag oh to Jordan Summers. Hot tag. Oh. Here we go, double stomp paragraph. No, I'm not talking a lot, I'm just really invested. Yeah. Oh. Everyone's We're just not doing that great. Match. Yeah. Oh, firing away with the punches. There we go. Yeah, yeah. Messing him up. Oh my god. No. Kid Lycos does have a good mask. He does. One, two, three. Let's go. Yeah. Let's go. Hell yeah. Big giant boys. Hell yeah. Could this be you joining the Clout Chasers now? Is that your initiation? 78? I am a... Offended. Should have kept me Masawa. Right, you're still up there, you're still above both Joshua and Jody though. I get it, Chainsaw, I know. People like Jody. He's a nice boy. Mm -hmm. Yes. There we go, NL Slip versus Tony Deppy. <laughs> All right. The slip. Yeah. And else, like right. the rest from the wrestling revolution uh, streams. <laughs> like the rosemary pick. <laughs> well, it was her that came up with the name face paint paragraphs. So. Ah. And we don't have Tony Depp in his music, but... It's, um... It's, uh... We built the city... Yeah, it's just like that's one of the ones that I've not set up yet. Ah, uh, gotcha. Yeah, Tony Depp in is amazing. Oh, yeah, he's so good. Mm. I'd love to wrestle Tony Deppin. Yeah, have you any sort of like dream matches that you want to score off once everything's back to normal? Um, wait, I have a... Oh wait, no, it's in my other phone. Damn it. Um, I'll just go off the top of my head. Uh, I really want to wrestle Effie. Yeah, that'd be fun. Just cause like, he's, he's so good. Um... I mean, like, I feel like the obvious ones, like Danhausen, Warhorse, and like, 
the the big guys right now. Um, yeah. I want to wrestle Alex Shelley really bad. Oh yeah, oh, he's so good. Yeah, I just feel like I learned so much. I love Alex Shelley. Uh, Lee Moriarty. I don't know if you know who that is. I've heard the name. Yeah, he, he's getting some steam right now. Um, I don't know. And then basically like anybody from the SmackDown 2008 roster. <laughs> I'm cool with like uh or like Yoshi Tatsu or like Ezekiel Jackson and I don't know Jimmy Wang Gang one? uh I think he was 07 but I could be wrong but Paul London I would like to wrestle with Sabu yeah I'll wrestle Sabu I don't know what that match would be because he can't really walk but I'm excited for the main event. I feel like Omega Quackenbush could be really good. Yeah. Hopefully. I'm trying to remember because like Joshua booked Quack as well, but I can't remember who against. I think it. Oh, I I watched. Oh, well, like I watched that clip. I think it was Shibata. No, it was, no, it was Cesaro Shibata. was against Shibata. Wasn't it Alex um, Shelley? Yes. Yes, it was. See, I don't know about the barbed wire. Like I said earlier, I'm a pussy. I don't, I don't, I don't do that stuff. <laughs> Just keep thinking about Sting. That face paint. Ooh, that's a cool move. Well, uh, it's basically, like Sting's like Slip's favorite wrestler, so they tried to make him look like Sting, but not. Gotcha. So like they gave him that dumb hair and like they put a mustache over the face paint and stuff. Gotcha. I had a, um, a Sting action figure that vibrated. Oh. And uh. He, he just looked like a really big sad mind. It was, it was a really big figure. <laughs> oh, like he, and then there was like a frowny face, like on his, like painted on. It's really funny. Was that like a TNA one? It was a WCW one. I got it at a show for like a buck. Ooh, dude, Slip has some awesome moves. Oh, you have you know the the vibrating figures. I I don't know where it went. Like I really want it. I like I, I have like a little like like weird action figure collection. Like I had a uh, I went to a barber shop because like some dude said he was selling uh, action figures at a barber shop, hmm. and I got a. I found a Shawn Michaels, but he glued chest hair onto Shawn. And I don't know where that hair came from. It was really <laughs> weird. I think it was like, I think it was like golden retriever dog hair. Was my guess. <laughs> what the hell? It was, it was a big bush of just weird hair. <laughs> <laughs> but it was so bizarre. I couldn't, I could not buy it. There we go. Main event time. All right. Kenny Omega, Mike Quackenbush. Big fight feel in the air. Bang. Oh. Oh yeah, they've got actual like Kenny Omega voice bits because he was part of the New Japan DLC. Yeah. It's a funky song. It's like the generic theme that gives everyone that doesn't have a theme set up. <laughs> Mike Quackenbush really looking like a dad there. Yeah. Alright. 
This match should be really good. You would think, yeah. Mm. <laughs> I love this music. I feel like there's like some like breaking news. It's like the Starcade 89 theme. Mm. Yeah, I, I miss the, the cleaner too. Ooh! You know, the thing that was is, really cool. That was cool. I mean, like, Mike Quackenbush is one of those guys that can pr wrestle pretty much any style, so... Mm -hmm. And do it, like, very, very well. <laughs> I'll put Quack on uh, like my dream matches too, cause he he's been wrestling a lot lately. Yeah, he wasn't on like I only got to see Takara once from like one of the UK tours. Uh, like he wasn't on it unfortunately. Uh, I went to uh, Janela Spring Break. I saw him versus David Starr. Oh. And he gets booked at like some of the indies around me too, so uh, I feel like it's a uh, in the realm of possibilities. Actually, I was I was a, or I was offered the chance to wrestle my Quackenbush, but I was still hurt, so I couldn't do oh. it. That sucks. <laughs> yeah. So who who are you backing for this one, chat? Personally, I feel like I want a really good main event style main event and I want Kenny to win at the end, but I want Quack to get all his shit in. And the fans, I want the fans to win. Oh, of course. Star Quack was good. <laughs> I'm not used to these ad lib. Yeah, like the, the Johnny one we had, the uh, eat shit, that's uh, a Tango <laughs> War one. <laughs> Did that actually happen? Did fans actually win a match? Ooh. Oh, DDT show then probably a I know that Iron Man Heavy Metal Weight Championship like changed hands in a game of rock paper scissors once. Really? Mm -hmm. I wish all my matches could just be rock paper scissors. I'm pretty good at it. What's your uh, what's your go-to in rock paper scissors? Uh, rock. Rock? Yeah. Good solid reliable what? rock. See, I I'd beat you because I'm I'm a paper guy. Ah. Mm-hmm. I'm always two steps ahead. But no, you've said that. If I ever played you, I'd just pick scissors. I don't know, man. I, I'd have to feel it out. You can't escape. Leave your uh, leave your rock paper scissors preference in the chat. Yeah, I do want to see a paper versus rock battle. We well, could make someone in the game look like a paper man gimmick and have them against the rock. Ooh, like a paper boy. Yeah, and like. I don't know how a scissors gimmick would work, but we could have like something like come Edward Scissor Hands or something. Yeah, or even just have someone come out to one arm scissor by at the driving. Or uh, have them do a scissors kick. Yeah, like every move is like, scissors based, like head scissors, leg scissors. This match has been really good, by the way. Yeah. Woo. Oh, 
question in the chat from Jim. Would you rather take a stink face or a burning ham? Uh, if it was safe, a burning hammer. Probably. Well, I guess the stink face isn't that bad. I'd probably do stink face because I, I can. Or wait, no, stink face is like with the shaking and stuff. Never mind. Yeah, I'm going. I'm going burning hammer. I don't. I don't want the booty to face. I think it was Joshua that said like depends who's given each. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Exactly. Because like, you don't want someone bad to do a burning hammer. You don't want like a really stinky butt in your face. Yeah. It's situational. But that, that seems to be the question Jim asks everybody. Mm -hmm. I get it though. One, two, three. Oh. See, I think you need to do... Oh, 94. All right. What's my rating? What's my rating? 87 point 87. something. 87. Uh, 87.1. wasn't amazing, one. but... Which would place you... Eighty-seven point one would place you... 18th place. 18th place? Above... Joshua Wells. Okay, is he is he nineteen now? Yes. Hell uh, yeah! It also puts you above Jody. Hell yeah! I won. It places you in between, like above Joshua Wells and below Courtney Rush slash Rosemary. All right, I'll take that. And it also, like, because eighty-seven point one is not a bad score by any stretch of the imagination. It's yeah. just that an insanely high standard has been set. Mm-hmm. Like, and there's not, I get it. There's not really a, a lot between, like... One sec, just bring it up again. Oh, man, we're getting a lot of questions. Um... <laughs> Alright. So, first, I want to say... I, I want to critique your uh, your question, Jim, with the, with the stink face or burning hammer. I think you need to make it, like, from a, a distinct person. Like someone that you'd be scared to take a burning hammer from, but you also wouldn't want to be stink faced from. So like, but like, like, would you take uh, a stink face or a burning hammer from James Ellsworth or something? You know, like that. That's that's my recommendation. Or like, Bray Train or like something. Um, yeah, like looking at the leaderboard now, there's between twentieth and tenth. There's only like five percent separating all of them. Mm. So, you know, it, it is very tight in there. Yeah. I, th I did decent. Um. Okay. So questions. Would you top five all time? <sighs> Brian. Punk. Uh, I'm just going off the top of my head. Sean. Oh, wait, we have stuff going on. Yeah, like Jericho left AEW in the game. Are you going to say no to Huckabee? No, we're, we're absolutely saying yes to Huckabee. Good. I love Huckabee. Um, Brian, Punk, Sean. Um... Um... Um, okay, I would just put Motor City Machine Guns as four and five. That's very fair, I would say. Oh, mm. uh, it's not. That was a joke bit. Never mind. Well, I just did that for no reason. Uh, top five favorite opponents. Uh, Hornswoggle. Uh, Isaiah Frazier. Just. Local indie guys, you probably wouldn't know. I haven't wrestled that many cool people. When I was watching the thing, I know you, you put over Isaiah quite strongly. It was like an interview thing you did. Mm, yeah. You, I think he, you said he came from the same school as you. Yeah. Yeah, my match with Hornswog was on YouTube, if you want to look it up. It's, uh, it's really big in India. <laughs> right, so... Uh, that's the show. 
done, but there All is right. there is a tradition that we have. Okay. Like uh, a way to send everyone away with a smile on their face. As you might know, you can do shoot fights in Fire Pro as well. Am I, am I fighting a bear? Well, I was going to say, or... who who are we going to have fight a bear? Oh, who are we going to have fight a bear? Yeah. Oh, man. Anybody. Oh, man. Like, you could have Robert Gibson of the Rock and Roll Express fight a bear if you so chose. Oh, man. Um... The three ways we do it is we either have the guest pick, we have the chat pick, or we do it random. Oh, man. Dude, that's there's so many options. Um, I don't want to do rando because then it could just be like someone I don't even know. Uh, go down, go down. I'm sorry, chat. I, I gotta pick someone. Right. I've gotta pick someone. Um, who is there? It has to be something crazy because you, you do have, you know, a lot of people. Yeah, there's quite a, a ver, ver, quite a wide variety of the roster that we have here. Ladybeard would be good. Oh, Chain um, Chainsaw would be a good shout there. Bill Carr. Hornswoggle. Let's do Hornswoggle versus the bear. Alright. Yeah, because I was going to book Hornswoggle, but... You think we just... Yeah. Oh, wait, is that like AJ Styles Hornswoggle? Looks like it. <laughs> Alright, do that one. <laughs> I love how they've given so him creepy. that stance to try and make him look short. <laughs> he looks like he looks like Jack Black. <laughs> and our referee in charge of this action, as always, is the giant from Twin Peaks. What? All right. Dude, this is so weird. I'm just imagining it's like a really small bear. Yeah, it's like a cub. He's like the bear's build at being over seven foot, so I mean build build isn't always yeah. correct. Oh, bear a plane Ooh. spin. What's been the, the best bear fight so far? Oh, there's been a lot of good ones. Like, and some people have beaten the bear. Oh, really? Uh, Chris Hero beat the bear. I know I faced a bear on a uh, caveman stream, and I beat the bear. Uh, Tyler Bate beat the bear. I've uh, I beat both of these men. <laughs> <laughs> was it the bear you fought, though, or was it a bear in jorts? Was it a wait? What? Was it a bear in jorts you fought? Uh, I think it was this bear. I mean, it could have been. Th I don't this know. is my bear. I made this. Oh, okay. Well, okay. Made. Probably not your bear. Like a bear. No, I know one of Caveman swings that he has is a bear in jorts. Ah, uh, maybe then. And it's you know, Caveman being Caveman, you know, like a bear in jorts. <laughs> Who, uh, who put the, the jorts on the bear? Did he put it on himself? Uh, it would have been him or Blake, I guess. <laughs> Alright, uh, could have been like a team effort. Maybe they had to sedate the bear or something first. Yeah. How do you get jorts big enough for a bear? I don't know. Well, the bear jorts emporium, presumably. What? I mean, where do you train a bear to, like, fight? Like a man. That's true. Oh, that's a good not point. Backing Blake. down from this bear. That's a good point from Chainsaw in the chat. Blake's 50 feet tall. I'd let him do it. Mm. He could have had the, the 50 foot shorts, could have been uh, alone. <laughs> oh god, what's that? This is getting violent. I, 
I'd love to see this fight in real life. We got blood. Get the plane spin. Oh. Oh god. Hey, I beat you, Jody. Oh, Jody's here, huh? Yeah, I'm typing this to him. I mean, to be fair, you did, you, you know, you called your shot. You said, I will beat I, their scores, and you did. And I did. And then I beat them in, in the, the game, too. Ooh. He's a pair right now. What was that swing? And someone followed me and it, uh, it didn't tell me who. I uh, can't see who, but whoever it was, thank you. I'm gonna follow you. Whoa. No, you're a pervert. Mm. Yeah, what kind of pervert? Uh, following pervert. Mm. Oh. I mean, like, that's like the notification I've got. When, uh, whenever someone follows, it's like the Mod Flanders. Not Mod Flanders, uh, Reverend Lovejoy's wife, like screaming, PERVERT! <laughs> like it. I feel like Pokemon fucking runs Twitch. Because every time I go on Twitch, I just see her everywhere. I don't even know who that is. The internet girl. I guess it's not very specific. Yeah. A whole lot of girls on that internet. Oh, oh. Orange Wolf will beat went? the bear. He beat the bear. Look at him. He looks savage right now. Holy, look at him. Earned his strength. Look at him. Oh my god. Alright, so that all about do it. And we're gonna raid John Robertson. Alright. John's a good guy, by the way. Uh, Australian good. comedian based out of England. Does a live action text adventure game called The Dark Room. Which is pretty much just him yelling at you, but it's very, very funny. Mm. Okay. I'll take uh, being yelled at comedically. It's like um, it's like a multiple choice adventure game, but it's like him yelling the options at you. Gotcha. And it, he's a very funny dude and a very good dude as well. So that'll do that. I'll be on over the weekend, uh, probably doing more Fire Pro stuff, and I'm going to try and squeeze in some Streets of Rage 4 as well. Uh, the next confirmed guest booking stream will be on Tuesday. We'll be joined by Raven Creed, uh, Irish professional wrestler from OTT. And yeah, uh, thank you to Josh for joining me for this. Thank uh, you for having me. And tell people where they can follow you and whatnot. Mm. You can follow me on Twitter, uh, Josh Fuller PW. You can watch my match versus Hornswoggle if you're intrigued, now that he beat the bear uh, on YouTube, just search it up or something, I guess. So, so that's about it. So you've beaten the bear before, and you've beaten Hornswoggle, who just beat the bear. That puts well, yeah, that's the my spoilers, I guess. Yeah, exactly. I'm ready to move past bears. And little people. Uh, wanna... you, you, you said the result of the match earlier, though. So. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> That's true. Uh, yeah. All right. Well, thank you for having me. This is fun. Bye. Bye. I, I just realized how close right. the the uh, the.